Okay, so doing further work on behavior modification using little punishment breaks. At the moment, Ilo wants to get through this door here because Socks, the brother dog, is on the other side. Okay. So one of the first things I can do is show her what I want her to do, which is get her into a sit and give her a reward for the sit. A really good sit that's already in place really helps in this situation. But now I'm just going to use the management of access using the door by opening it gradually and shutting it whenever she tries to barge through to modify her behaviour and show her that we need her to be calm until the door's fully open and until I say go on. This is made a little more tricky because I'm having a dog on the other side and a phone ringing, but there you go. So every time she goes towards the door, I'm going to close it. Again, I'm not going to worry about saying wait or stay because I haven't trained that with her. I haven't trained a normal stay or wait. I'm just going to use management. So I can make my little break a little bit longer now. The longer I make the break, the longer I make it take to get what she wants to get, the more modifying it's going to be of her behaviour. Ali, sit. Too bad. Ali, this way. Sit. Too bad. So I'm kind of working with two dogs at once at the moment because I've got another dog on the other side. But that should be doable. I should be able to handle that. When either of them push through, close the door. Hello, sits. Good girl. Good girl. So the anticipation, the prospect of getting a reward for the sit helps, combined with the prospect of the door getting closed if she pushes past. So she's being a bit more self-composed. Too bad. Although she was moving her nose towards the door, she wasn't kind of barging through it like before. So she's already learning that she has to stay calm and then the door carries on being opened. As soon as she tries to barge the door, that's when it gets closed. Holy sits. I got the other dog coming through. This is better though. At a certain point, like I say, you will have to really give a release command because the door will be so far open that you can't actually, too bad, you can't actually shut it in time. So in the early days, once you get a little bit open, it's better to give that release command. It also shows the dog what the purpose is, what the actual potential reward will be. Sometimes they actually have to see the reward and actually having had to do it and get it for them to care about it in future. Go on. Go on. One dog through. <laughs> so Socks was great there because he, from the other side, was learning exactly the same experience, not to barge the door, and eventually he came through. The reason Ilo didn't, at the end, push through the door was partly because of the training and, to be honest, partly because what she really wanted was to get to Socks and he came through first. So in the end, she didn't need to push through. But, I like to think it was also because of the work that we just did.